That's it right there. Okay. Hello, Internet. I'm Guy. So, here's the problem. You need to center up a long piece of stock sticking out of your three-draw chuck. And you go tappity-tap, tappity-tap, tappity-tap. It's so annoying. So, what you need is a bearing bump tool. I saw James on Cloud42 channel using it. And I'll just feed this in until it's running smoothly and it will push the part into alignment with the spindle of the lathe. This tool is just a piece of half inch square stock that I milled out and made room for the bearing. Really simple, really handy. So I have bought myself a piece of half inch uh, steel rod from the hardware store and I can take this one which is, uh, hmm, what is this? This is 5 sixteenths. Take that out and I can put that in there and mill this down a little bit to get it to fit. It would, it would fit, but I'd like to machine this down and take the galvanizing off. And I dug through my pile of bearings and found a good bearing and a button head screw and a lock washer. So this is going to be a pretty simple process. Okay, so I've got this length approximately the same as the original cutter here. Just cut off a piece of this half inch. Wait a minute, what am I thinking? Real men don't use hacksaws. So I'm going to chuck this up on in the vise on the mill. Use my favorite carbide end mill to square this up. So let's bring this in. Yep. Right about there. Bring in a little cutting flue on the cutter and on the metal there. Yep, that's nice and clean for a start. I guess I'll flip it around and do the other end too. And cleaning up the factory end here. Huh, I totally forgot. I left my magnetic parallel holder here and it's picking up all of that stuff from the magnet inside here. So I guess I'll remember to keep that away from here when I'm working with iron and steel. So I've got my insert carbide end mill in there, dropping it out to zero it on my DRO and then I will drive it off. And then drop it a few thou. All right. It's good to confirm that my machine is well trimmed in. You can see the cuts are crisscrossing really nicely there. That's a beautiful finish. Another five thou off of this surface. Looking at the pattern of the cut here, it looks like my front to back tram is a little bit off. So my second pass is taking more off one side than the other. I'm going to try just dropping a half a thou and coming back the other way and just see what that does for me. So coming down just a hair. somewhat better I guess. So with my 1032 button head going in there I want to be 
about 150 thousandths from the edge. So I'm just going to make a little scribe mark there. And then I'm going to set this up with the DRO so I know I'm 150 thou in there and dead centered on here. Okay, I've got the center front to back, and now I'm just going to move in 150 thousandths from the end. So let's find that. So my centering tool is 0.2 inches. That means I have to go 250 thousandths to the left to get centered on that hole right there. Okay, starting with a centering drill. A 1032 trap drill uh, for steel is a number 18. If you're not inclined to make one of these for yourself, you can purchase one on Amazon. And I'll put a link below to that, where if you do purchase one through my link, I'll get a very small commission. And speaking of supporting my channel, if you're enjoying it, please give me a like. And you can subscribe, of course, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm releasing the next video. I release videos almost every Friday or Saturday morning. And also below in the description, you'll see a link to support me on Patreon. So I'd very much appreciate it if you could take a moment to do that. Okay, quick sanity check to make sure I've got the right thread. Yes, that works perfect. All right, this is the real test. Put a lock washer and the bearing and the 1032 button head bolt. All the way in. That's going to work nicely, but I decided I want to recess this down in there, just like um, James did. Uh, it would just look nicer and be tighter and closer. So I'm going to just drop this surface down by, oh, maybe two tenths. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to try a 20 thou depth of cut on this. Let's see how it'll take it. Yeah, I think I can go a little deeper than that. That was a 30 thou cut, which is pushing that as about as hard as I want to. So a few more cuts and I'll be down there. Uh 
Okay, let's see how that looks. We'll just drop that in there. Tighten it down. Yeah, that's what I had in mind, definitely. So, a little cleaning up on the edge there. I want to put a little bit of a radius on that edge. So I've decided to blue the whole thing to make it look like a professional tool. So starting off with a little alcohol, we'll clean this all off very thoroughly. All right, let's get some bluing on there. I'm going to use the other end of that cloth. quickly as I would have expected. Maybe I need more, but that, that seems pretty wet. So the instructions say to um, wipe it with steel wool if it's not taking really well. This is triple zero. some more. It's feeling stickier and going darker, so maybe that's all it needed was a little steel wool. That's getting better. That's the look that I'm looking for. That really dark blue effect. coming off on the cloth. I'll clean that off and do one more coat of uh, wipe off of the steel wool. It's def definitely getting there. Okay, that's looking better. It's looking bluer. So now I'm going to take some 30 weight machine oil and just wipe it on the whole thing. Just soak it in to get it to set. Alright, wipe on, wipe off. Final assembly step is to put that back in there. Nice and firmly so it doesn't bust loose. In fact, I'm tempted to put some Loctite in there but it doesn't seem to need it. So there we are. I'm going to go get it on my lathe now and see how this works. So let's see how this thing works. I've got it put in a uh, tool holder. Drop it in. Let's run the machine up real slow. And I'm just going to crawl it in on the cross slide. Should see the ball rolling in a second. There it is. And you can hear it. I believe that is concentric. Right there. So I'm going to check it with a micrometer now. Oh no, that's not concentric yet. I can hear it still chattering. That's it, right there. Okay. Okay, I've got this zeroed out in one position. That's two thou off three. Right there. That's pretty decent, given that this is not perfectly round stock anyway. I would say 3,000 is pretty good for that much stick out. 